Hey there. So tonight we're going to read Otter on His Own, which is by Doe Boyle and published by Scholastic. In a sheltered cove at the edge of the great Pacific Ocean, sea otter pup and his mother lie cradled in a golden brown bed of giant kelp. The foghorn echoes from the rocky point as the morning mist rises. Like a woolly ball, pup rests on his mother's chest. He is two hours old and today is his first day on the sea. The sunshine of late winter warms the rocky California shore, but the water is cold. Sea otter's pup, pup's loose fur, protects him like cozy pajamas. Mother keeps his fur clean and dry, rubbing it between her forepaws and blowing warm air into it with her mouth and nose. Up pops mother. She coos at pup and props him up on her belly. Pup watches curiously as mother pulls the soft meat from a sea urchin she has found in the forest of kelp. When she's done, she rolls and tumbles in the water to clean her fur. Pup tries to tumble with her, but he is too young. He scolds his twirling mother with a piercing wail and she comes to play with him in the waves. For several months, Pup shares his mother's food. Mother breaks the hard shells of clams, abalone, and urchins on rocks she finds on the seafloor. Crack, crack. The sound of her pounding carries above the cries of the hovering gulls who wait to steal fallen morsels. By springtime, Otter Pup is sleek and strong. He can swim and somersault like his mother. He is eager to search the world beneath the waves for his own dinner. It's time for his first dive. With a great whoo whoosh of bubbles, Pup rolls forward and pushes downward with his webbed hind feet. Pup has not pushed hard enough. He grabs a frond of kelp to pull himself to the sandy bottom. Snails and mussels dart and darting fishes are everywhere, and crabs and limpets and sea stars all for the choosing. Even small octopuses hide in the rusting cans caught among the rocks. Mother dives for her dinner too. Watching her, pup tucks snails and clams into the loose folds of skin under his forelegs. Grabbing urchins in their forepaws, mother and pup swim to the top of the kelp to enjoy their feast. Floating on his back, pup spreads his dinner on his belly and tears at an urchin. He snorts and sniffs, plucking snail treasure from his pocket. Sometimes he picks out pebbles he has taken by mistake. Throughout the warm days of spring, Otter Pup perfects his hunting and diving. He learns to pry the stubborn abalone from the rocks below. After each dive and every meal, he grooms himself carefully. Bits of his food or oil from the huge ships that pass offshore can mat his thick fur. He keeps each hair spotlessly clean.
One afternoon, Pup's mother leaves the cove to look for Squid. Pup is curious. Following her beyond the rocky point, Pup feels the powerful breath of the ocean on his whiskers. Under the choppy swells, Pup hears new sounds, the chirps and whistles of dolphins, the whir and thunder of boats. He cannot see or hear his mother. Pup calls, but mother does not answer. When he spots her among the waves, it is too late. A silent creature streaks by him. The great white shark hurls Pup's mother high above the salty spray with a tremendous shake. Screaming, she slams down into the water and disappears. Pup cries, fran cries and frantically searches the water for his mother. Suddenly, Pup feels a rough tug at his forepaw. Frightened, he whirls about, but the vicious shark is gone, searching for tastier prey. Mother is at his side, pushing him toward the safety of the kelp. They race forward until the gentle kelp encircles them. Tonight, there will be no diving. Rocking side by side, mother and pup sleep. At dawn, the cove is foggy and quiet, except for the bellow of the foghorn. Pup's bruised mother feeds lazily on the snails and the kelp in the kelp canopy while Pup dives alone for the sweet pink flesh of Adeline. By summer's end, Otter Pup is almost fully grown. The world beyond the cove is full of danger, but Otter is filled with a new curiosity and restlessness. One morning, Otter leaves his mother out past the rocky point, out past the foghorn he swims. Today is Otter's first day on his own. The end. Let's pray together. God, for food to eat, for a home to live in, for parents who love and take care of us, for grandparents, aunts, uncles, and friends who love us, we thank you. Remind us before we go to bed tonight of all that we have to be thankful for and all of the ways that you are taking care of us. Amen. I'll see you tomorrow.